So this is a very short video on how to light and render a night sky in Maya. And the scene I've opened is a, um, a very simple scene involving a crow flying around a, uh, a Welsh chapel in a graveyard. And what we want to do is to kind of create a night scene. There's also the, you can also see the bell ringing there. So if you wanted to add the sound of crows to this exercise, you could do that sound of a bell ringing. You can you can play around with this. If you want to um, see how to do this, um, then there's a tutorial uh, which I'll, I'll take you to. So if you go to the Animation Apprentice blog, you'll find the crow and flight tutorial here. Uh, and this explains how to do this um, uh, this tutorial. So it's a very simple one uh, involving a um, motion cycle on the crow, uh, a flight path, attaching the crow to the flight path, and then um, uh, and then flying the crow around the chapel and then we've got a moving camera at the end so what we want to do is light this scene and what, what the way we're going to do it is by creating a sky dome in uh, Maya uh, using the Arnold renderer and then using an HDRI uh, texture map to attach that to the sky dome and the HDRI we're going to go for is that of a night sky and that's how we're going to do this so let's make sure we're in the render menu up here, top left hand corner, and then let's go to the Arnold men menu up here, and then let's go to lights, and we're going to create a sky dome light. And you'll see there it gets created, AI sky dome light, light and then in the attribute editor, uh, we can go into the color tab, click on that, and then go to file, and that will now create this little um, folder tab here, and then if I click on that, it will take us to the HDR file. Now, I've got one here selected. Uh, there you can see it lit, lit up here. You can use any night sky HDR that you like. Just Google, uh, go to Google Images and find one that you like. So you can see here I've gone to Google. I've Googled HDR, HDRI uh, night sky. And um, you can search for free ones if you like. Um, obviously you want to be a little bit careful about copyright if you're using this for commercial purposes uh, but I'll leave you to select one that you personally like the most so I'm going to open this one up here the one I've downloaded and um, it will attach that to the sky dome and now I can go ahead and um, I can do a test render and see what I've got so if I just open up the menu here so that we can see the render button, I can go ahead and do that. Of course, we, we want to go into our render settings before we do that. Just make sure that we've got everything set up. So in render settings, you want to make sure that, um, uh, let's see, uh, we, let's render a JPEG, um, file output. Um, actually, I'm just going to go edit, edit reset settings here. Um, well, actually, let's just make sure we've got everything selected. So we're selecting the Arnold renderer. Ren I'm rendering a JPEG. Um, frame padding I'm set to four. Uh, it's now start and end frame. Well, we're just rendering a sing single image for now, so we don't need to worry about that. We're rendering a shot camera. If you want a nice, big, fat, high-resolution image, you're going to go to um, HD 1080, but I'm rendering HD 10, uh, 540 just because it's nice and quick. So having done that, I'm now going to go to my render tab up here and just see what I've got. And that should give me uh, a, uh, a nighttime render. So you can see I've got this nice starry sky. Uh, I've got moonlight in the scene. And as if really, as if by magic, we've got a nighttime starry scene. Now you can see some of these textures here on this grave. That's going to need work. That's because these are very low poly assets. Um, but it's working pretty well and you know this isn't bad for just a few clicks so we can also go through the scene there we go there's the uh, crow in flight up there so if we go ahead and um, let me just open this up so you can see what I'm doing here if we just go ahead and render that again get in a different frame we'll see what that does so now we've got our crow flying through the sky and and that in a nutshell is how to create uh, a night starry sky um, using the sky dome and uh, if you want to render out a series of images then go ahead and watch um, one of the other videos on how to do a render sequence in Arnold I'll show you where that is 
here we go there's a blog post from the 14th of October how to export a render sequence in Arnold so I'll leave you to watch that video in order to um, render out a series of images